Good morning. So the whole of the practice of Qigong, and in fact traditional Chinese medicine, is based on two things. The observation of nature and how nature works, the natural world and its systems. The relationship of the human being or the place of the human being in that system. And also, if you look at the work of, of Ken Cohen, you will find that some research has been done on the connection between Qigong and shamanism. And so we have in common the calling in of medicine, the ability, the acknowledgement that the human being can call in medicine, the medicine of the natural world, to heal self or other or community. So this is Qigong, but it's subtitled Trigung because here we're calling in the medicine of a tree and that's of the wood element so that would be good for focus, vision, joints, uh, good in the season of spring but also any time that one is feeling maybe stuck with um, life path Many, many uh, reasons why we would invite or call in wood energy. It also might be part of a personal prescription for you. And so in terms of the trigung, I'm going to introduce maybe four, three or four very, very simple qigong moves that you will find in other forms, but as a collective, they are a way, a way to communicate with a tree. Um, and again, we find that connection with shamanism. If you have a favorite tree, which is common to a shamanic practice, that one has a tree that you go back and back to. But equally, you can do this to any tree or with any tree. Um, it's good to do it outside. It would be difficult to show you in video form how to do it in situ. But if you imagine that I have a tree in front of me, then um, that would be a good way forward. And so the opening movement of Qigong is often called standing like a tree. And so already we can attune to the similarities between us and trees. Unlike most other mammals, we are upright, so we connect directly with what the Chinese medical tradition calls heaven or yang space. And also at the same time with yin or earthy energy. We have limbs, and in the English language, so does the tree. We have a crown. And although we don't have roots, we often talk about them, sending our roots down into the earth as a practice. And so just standing like this, taking inspiration from your favorite tree or any tree, is a Qigong practice. Emulate the way the crown reaches towards the sky, seemingly effortlessly. And the way there's an uninterrupted connection between the roots and the crown and the tips of the leaves. And even if you haven't got a tree in front of you when you do this, imagine that you have. And then take away its name and your name so that you are just two parts of the world meeting each other. And you may get the sense that you are the same thing. 
And just as you will give the tree the medicine, it will give you the medicine back. And it's the same thing. Let's just on a practical level go through standing like a tree, so your feet may be parallel. In some practices, women have uh, toes outwards, but I like, I prefer this, so standing like so. To prevent the knees curling in towards each other, the image of a football between the knees is helpful perhaps. Just tune into that for a moment. Send your tailbone, your coccyx, straight down into the earth as if it was a tap root. Feel how that activates the lower belly, the lower dantian. And feel how that moves up what we call the trunk in the human being and in trees. How does that rootedness and slight angle of the pelvic basin affect the rest of the trunk? You can make your arms like lit, they are limbs, but like a mangrove tree, so they can also be rooted in the earth, if you wish. And the top of your head like a bean sprout or the very tip of a branch, of an upper branch, heading straight for the light, which in this case is directly above you. And here we are standing like a tree. And to further emphasize, we can, as if holding the trunk of the tree, and make your small adjustments, maybe you need now to tuck your tail a little further down or maybe you need to tuck your chin, just make the adjustments. Make sure that you are still toe and heel weighted in equal measures, so you're not leaning too far back or too far forward. And just allow yourself to feel the relationship between the imagined trunk your trunk and the trunk of the tree. And you could pause this coaching video and do this for a fair amount of time. And you might do that if you need to be centred or rooted or supported in life at this moment. It's dropping the hands down and I'm going to do a practice that I did with a group of people in northeast Scotland where I was living and we would gather around a huge cherry tree, very abundant, and we would do this particular circulation with the tree. And so, imagining your tree or a favourite tree or the tree that's in front of you and its roots going down into the earth and then little rootlets coming out and meeting your roots that are also going down into the earth with rootlets coming out. Imagine that merging. And imagine now that the crowns are also meeting. So the crown of the head is sprouting in all directions as is the tree, and at some point they are able to meet. So the crowns of you and the crowns of the tree, the roots of you, there is connection. And now we imagine that the roots can send up our bodies and through the crown to the tree's crown and down the tree's trunk, down into its roots and up through our roots and through our trunk and to the crown, and to the crown of the tree and down, and so there's a circulation. And we can do that also with the breath. 
pulling up earthy energy through our roots on the in-breath, sending it down the trunk of the tree on the out-breath, and so on. And if it's was like good for you, then you can also come into this back into this position. And you might do this if you're fatigued. And once again, you could pause the video and do this for some time if it's proving meaningful for you and but as a coaching video I will now reverse the flow and so now the tree you are sending your roots to the tree the circulation is going the other way it's going up the trunk of the tree up to the crown the crown of the tree is sending tentacles down through your crown through your trunk down through your roots and your roots are extending to the trees and so on so it's going in the other direction and you have a choice you can stand like this or you can stand with your mangrove tree limbs Dropping the hands down and thinking about ways to use this specific wood energy, knowing that as we heal ourselves, we heal everything. So there's nothing selfish about self-healing because we're healing everything. So let's take wood energy and do a simple movement that's good for the eyes and that would be wind, <clears throat> sorry I changed my mind, gazing at passing clouds. So that's a particular vision, Qigong movement. So we splay the fingers, we put the splayed fingers in front of the eyes. The chi is coming from the palm of the hand into the eyes already, so we're already nourishing the eyes, in this case with wood energy, and the other hand is coming to the lower belly, just the lower dantian, to keep us rooted and in our bellies. And then we're turning from the waist with the hips going forward. We can vary this according to which organ we're locating or directing the chi to, and in this case it's the liver, so we want to activate the lower rib cage, and so keep the hips forward. And as if you're holding a straight stick like a bamboo pole here. Always one hand is below or above the other so they stay in sync. You turn, you feel that turn around the lower rib cage for the liver. You're still gazing through the gaps in the top hand and then when you reach, you can go no further, you slip your hands up the bamboo pole and then you turn the other way, still keeping the hips forward. Football between the knees. Your eyes softly gaze through the gaps in the fingers.
Come back to the tree. If you like, gather more energy through the circulation imagery. Let's do another one for the eyes. So shift the weight onto one leg and step slightly, slightly out and turn the foot like this. Place the hands with fingers together so that you're looking into the palms of your hands like so. And then we're going to pump the tree energy up as we move our hands towards us and then away. We pump the back foot so it's as if we are able to go down into the earth, get the tree energy, pump it up all the way through to our eyes. And what you're doing with the eyes is you're following the root of the middle finger, middle fingers. So you're changing your focus in other ways. So there's a pumping of energy, as well as an activation of the eyes. Using wood energy. Let's just change sides. And try and maintain a soft gaze so you're not grasping with the eyes. If you like, they're coming from right from the back of your head and they're soft. You know, you're just massaging the visual uh, length of them, the visual the focus. You're massaging the eyes. And again, if you would like some eye medicine, then you would repeat that. Uh, for longer. We will now move to one of the movements in the Taiji Qigong Shibashi 1 for apologies 2 form, Wind That Blows the Willow. So now in the title of the movement we're actually mentioning a tree and we emulate a willow tree by having our fingers, the tips of our hands, being very sensitive to each passing breeze. So a tree wouldn't survive if it was rigid. It would topple over at the slightest breeze. But what the leaves can do is respond so that we can bend like a willow tree. So take inspiration from the tree and how it moves with the wind and then it comes back to true, but it doesn't actually stop moving. If you observe trees very closely, there is some movement in response to air currents. Let's make like a willow tree. Shift over to one foot. Step forward like an oak tree, so that means wide. Just step back a bit. That means wide, not narrow, and not very far. So feel how solid you still are, even though you've stepped forward. And then with the same side hand as the side on which you step forward, that goes back and the other one goes out. And then as you shift the weight forward, you go to the other side. Really simple stuff. And your eyes are following the hand down, your eye, down and up. So you are also exercising your eyes. And you could keep the head still, but follow with the eyes. And then play around with following with the, you know, the head so that you get a different, a slight, subtly different medicine. But mainly focus on your hands. We're, we're focusing on the leaves at the end of the branches and their gentle response as they move through the air and actually their effect on the air as well distributing it, distributing and expelling beautiful oxygen. And I'll be quiet for a while while we move to the other side. And just to say that this would be medicine if you were in pain and a willow tree, that's where aspirin comes from. 
but also there's an expansiveness to this movement that slightly expands the nerve channels so that there's less pressure on the nerves. If you obviously if you're in great pain, <laughs> do something else. <laughs> Go to a doctor. Okay. And then coming back to standing like a tree. We might do a closing movement of gratitude to the tree and to ourselves as a closing. Feel the hands coming down through the centre of the body and then settling anything that's been unsettled down through our roots into the earth. Give yourself a little bit of a shake and bring yourself back into your day or evening. And thank you for watching this Qigong video.